Certain Affinity welcomes you to another Forge tutorial. In this video we'll be discussing game type labels. We've posted an article over on our website which has definitions for all of the game type labels as a reference tool for forgers. The link for that is in the description below. Additionally, we want to take a chance to answer some common questions about some of the labels. David J. Cobb posted a comment asking for some clarification on several labels we didn't cover in our Dominion tutorial. Dom Base Zone is strictly used to define the base in Dominion for the purpose of awarding medals for defending and attacking. You want to place a hill marker and then adjust the size to reach the boundaries of your base before giving it the Dom Base Zone label. Remember to adjust the spawn sequence number to match the rest of your base. There's a link to our Dominion tutorial at the end of this video. Regarding Dom RES Zone, we're planning an extensive spawning tutorial for after the Thanksgiving holiday, but I'll go ahead and touch on this one now. Dom RES Zone is what forces players to spawn at your Dominion base. Simply place a respawn zone, adjust the size, change the spawn sequence, and then add the Dom Respawn Zone game type label. Any respawn points inside this volume will be attached to that base. Dom Upgrade is a bit tricky. It's used to spawn in vehicles and weapons when a base fortifies. However, the respawn time setting will override this setting. This means you'll need to set the respawn time to the maximum setting, allowing the base to fortify before the timer ends. The vehicle or weapon will appear when the base fortifies, and then it will respawn based on the spawn time setting. Make sure that place at start is set to false, or the object will just appear when the game begins. As a bit of a bonus, we wanted to share something cool that you can do using the EXT target game type label. Objective crates which have the EXT target label will appear only when the site is active. This rule also applies to structure objects. What this means is that you can create maps which appear as sites are extracted. Simply set the spawn sequence of any site that won't appear at the start of the game with the default game type, that will have to be 3 or higher, and then set game type label to EXT target. Note that these won't actually disappear when the site is extracted. There's some really cool stuff that can be done like this, particularly when creating unique game modes. Hopefully between this video and the written list in the description, any questions about game type labels have been answered. There's also a lot of overlap with our existing mode tutorials, several of which are linked at the end of the video you should check out. We'll be keeping an eye on comments for anything we might have missed. From everyone here at Certain Affinity, to all of you, Forge on!